Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you this type of retro or vintage type text style like that. So I made this one by the help of the Adobe Illustrator I'm using Illustrator 2022. So let's start the tutorial. If you're new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first going to the file and taking new options. From here taking an artboard that is 2000 pixel 2000 pixel and here color mode RGB and here giving the name vintage okay and hit the tick button okay after that going to the text tool write down over here making the text size bigger okay that's good and making more bigger by pressing shift and hold it and drag this one or you can increase the font size by scrolling up in your mouse i'm using here the cursive type font you can use any kind of cursive font so here i'm using this type of font so vintage and you can select this one you can make this one uh, any kind of uh, like uh, here any kind of glyphic actually from here you can choose the glyphics portion from here so you can choose it up vintage and here uh, is what would be the e what would be the other stops uh, here a b c d e over here c d e in this portion here another one a b c d e this one so you have to press this one okay vintage or you can use a T, another type of T from here. So this actually you can choose T from here. This type of T. Or you can make it simple. Which one showing you like this. So I'm deleting one of them. Vintage. Okay, that's good. Closing up the vintage one and this one. Now work with that. Before that, here is my color swatch and I'll use those colors. Okay, here this one and selecting this one. After that, making stroke, selecting here stroke, press I from the keyboard and press shift and hold it and giving the stroke like this. And stroke thickness will be bigger like this. So you can do the vice versa just make it flip okay after that make the stroke thickness bigger and more bigger and here the stroke i'll make it like this so that is good you can make it more thickness down yeah it could be okay copy this one by pressing ctrl c or command c that's good now after that going to the object and expand the appearances again object and expand this one and hit ok and making this one like that or going to the object again expand and hit ok several times and now like this this portion and this portion will fill it up by using the shape tool from here and from here and selecting all the stops again and going to the pathfinder and select this so one important thing is that if you want to make the workspace like this uh, from here you can from here you can choose up essential classic just click this one it will be like that okay press ctrl or command f for the forward paste that's why we just made a copy like that and create outline okay that's fine our font or our first steps is done now this one this one is our base you can do this thing or same things by using the path and offset path from the object portion path and offset path but uh, i do like to use that portion uh, by using the stroke and increase the stroke okay selecting this and after that i'm selecting the stroke the same color i from the color picker and press shift and just giving the stroke and making the stroke thickness bigger that's good from here appearances from appearances here is the stroke mode selecting this and taking this under to the fill color that's good and after that here i'll go to the distort transform going to the transform and here one pixels and here one and here is one you can give the horizontal and vertical by your own here is the 
copies how many copy will be i'll provide 10 or uh, actually 20 copy yeah that's good here will be 20 copies and then hit okay make sure that the preview is on and hit okay okay that's good and ctrl c and ctrl f copying this one making that layer into the downside and then again double press over here and making this one 40 so 40 and hit okay actually give here 40 so 40 and hit okay and press i from the color picker and this one you should have to select this one or you can press the x from the keyboard and press the shift and hold it and giving the color like that and again ctrl c and ctrl f make this layer into downside by pressing third bracket opening and closing shift and command or control button and third bracket opening and closing so that is the shortcut key now we'll give 20 times up that means uh, uh, 40 that means 60 uh, now 60 and hit ok and i from the color picker and press shift and just provide the color and again ctrl c and ctrl f for the forward paste and making this one by pressing shift controller command and third bracket opening and now going to the fx double click over here and giving here uh, then plus 20 that means 60 plus 20 80 that's good and hit ok and i from the color picker and press shift and provide the color from here so vintage we are getting this one here we are getting this and making this one group and now I'm going to the file and place embedded options from here I downloaded a photo which is the vintage paper and here I'll send it to the back layer okay that's good and select this color and drawing another rectangle actually the square shape over here and now this one ctrl c and ctrl f making it copy and making it mask sending it into the last layer and here going to the blending or transparency option and making it multiply and make the opacity a little bit down yeah that's fine and this one is our black that means this one i should provide the color same uh, actually this color okay that's fine so that is the vintage look or you can keep it what you are getting over here so easily you can make the vintage text by using this technique making it group and making this one into middle of the artboard that's fine those are the color swatch and everything like this and finally you can provide the drop shadow under this so going to the effects going to the styles and drop shadows from here uh, multiply option 75 7 7 and uh, make this one like 10 13 that's fine and it okay so it will add another uh, dimension to your text effects so this things you can provide or you can place it anywhere actually that is the technique to do that hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon until the next video i'm here signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye